Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about how to incorporate spring fashion in your wardrobe with things that you already have. Fashion week is now over and there were lots of recurring trends and I thought it would be a really good idea, instead of having to go out and buy new things, you can see what you already have in your wardrobe and stay on top of the SS24 fashion trends. I've done a lot of research, I've gone through all the major publications, I've gone through Vogue, Glamour, Elle, Harper's Bazaar, I've looked at so many TikTok videos and I've basically compiled the ultimate spring trend list of everything that is really popular at the moment for spring fashion wise. The key trends that I have identified are cherry red, sky blue, ballet pumps, photo shirts and metallics. And what I've done is I've gone through my wardrobe and I have picked out all of the spring 2024 fashion trends. And there are a couple of new purchases as well. And I'm gonna show you how you can put together outfits for spring 2024. Starting with number one, we have cherry red. Red has been everywhere for the past year, I would say, particularly a very bright red. The only difference in 2024 is that it's a slightly darker, more mahogany red has also become popular, but the cherry red is still very much in. And I found that I had this old skirt from Joseph and it's this really cute, like tennis style skirt. It's got that sporty summer girl look that I think will be really perfect for spring. So this is the red skirt on and I've just paired it with a black tank top and a black cashmere cardigan to kind of let the red skirt speak for itself. I think it's a really gorgeous color and it adds such a nice pop of red for the whole outfit. And I think because of the black, the red really, really pops. Definitely wear flesh colored tights and you could also have bare legs as well. So yeah, I really like this skirt. I've actually had it in my wardrobe for quite a long time and I haven't really worn it yet. And so it's quite fun when these kind of color trends come back because you can fish out what you have in your wardrobe. And it might be that you have a red skirt or maybe a red jumper or a red cardigan that you could layer over some of your pieces to add a really nice pop of color for spring. The next fashion trend that was everywhere this year is the color sky blue. It popped up on so many different runways and I'm gonna give you two different options for this of how to style sky blue as a color. The first one is more of a corporate style. It's this Oxford shirt that I have. And then the next one is this fluffy blue knit, which is more casual for maybe a slightly more relaxed work environment or the weekends as well. So this is the Oxford shirt on and this is actually just an old one I have. I think it's from Acne. I'll link it down below and I think it might even be a men's shirt to be honest. I actually often find that the men's fashion can be the same but slightly cheaper than women's fashion. I don't know why they price it up so much for women but I often go to the men's section and I find really nice things like particularly men's cashmere. Go look in the men's cashmere section it's always at least 50 pounds cheaper than women's cashmere and I really love the kind of male oversized look of a shirt. I think you could definitely wear this to the office. I've just tucked it into some black jeans. I've just kind of left it loose at the back and tucked it in at the front. I think it's called a French tuck when you do this and you could pair it with perhaps some black ankle boots or I often pair an Oxford shirt with a pair of slingbacks just for a very kind of sophisticated look. And then you could also just leave it completely untucked or maybe open over a t-shirt for the weekends if you want more of a kind of boyfriend slouchy style. And I think particularly with a nice pair of big earrings and maybe a nice necklace as well and some bright lipstick, it can look really good. Number three are ballet pumps. And these are actually, I've had these for a really long time and I used to wear them a lot when I was working in an office. And they're these gorgeous taupe, kind of brownie taupe ballet flats. They're just from Zara and they've honestly lasted me really, really well. They have a great heel because even though it doesn't look that big, it actually does give you a tiny bit of height, but it's not so tall that it might be uncomfortable to wear all day. And I found these really easy to pair with just maybe dresses in the summer without any tights or perhaps with some pop socks or in the winter with black tights and maybe a skirt. 
they're really really great and ballet flats are very much back for this season again they were everywhere on the runway and i think they're such a nice addition to spring because you can just slip them on slip them off and frankly i'm very tired of wearing winter boots i feel like i've worn my winter boots to death and i think it'd be really nice to change up what shoe you're wearing so i'm just putting you in the mirror so that you can see the shoes on and i've paired them with this cashmere jumper from pringle these kind of corporate style black trousers from Samso Samso and these are the ballet flats these really gorgeous taupe color there we go that's a bit more zoomed out I just think they look really really smart and chic moving on to the next trend which is metallics and in a very similar vein to the last one I just picked up these brand new shoes and they are these gorgeous silver pumps again from Zara one of the reasons I actually went to Zara was because my Zara shoes that I just showed you have lasted me so well that I thought they'd be really good to look for perhaps metallic shoes. Now, metallics have been everywhere. You might have seen quite a lot of people wearing silver trousers, metallic trousers in lots of different shades, but particularly silver. And I've definitely noticed that the silver shoes are the next one. I think I've seen fewer people wearing silver trousers since Christmas, and I've been seeing a lot of people wear silver shoes. And I just thought these silver slingbacks were absolutely gorgeous. I haven't even worn them out yet. This is the first time I've kind of um, taken them out of the box. They're brand new and they're just so gorgeous. I really love them. I think I could wear them to a party, but I also think I could wear them with just a pair of jeans. I was thinking maybe like a white shirt, blue jeans and these to add a pop of colour. I've seen a few people style it like that and it's something that I really want to try. So yeah, I'm really happy and excited to wear these. I think they're so elegant and so nice and they just add such a lovely pop of colour. And then I've just put on the silver pumps as well so that you can see them. Same outfit and this is what they look like. And I just think they really elevate the look. Let me zoom out again. There we go. Now you can see the whole outfit. I just think they add such a fun pop of colour and you could also add like maybe a silver belt or maybe a silver bag as well. Please ignore the clutter in the background. There's the pile that I'm about to put on for this video. But yeah, I think they're really cute. The last category in this video is polo shirts. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not really a polo shirt kind of girl. I find that rugby shirts and things like that are really difficult to style personally. I have seen a lot of people do it really well. Currently, I am struggling with it a bit, but I have found two pieces that I think do fit into the kind of preppy polo shirt look. And I wanted to share them with you in case you're like me and you want a sort of slight alternative to it. So I have these two jumpers, which I'll actually try on now for you. This is an old one from H&M and it's this really great kind of um, half knit sweater. I think the fact that it's stripy is really preppy and kind of goes along with that whole vibe. It's very appropriate for spring and it has that very preppy polo shirt kind of look to it. And what I love is that if it gets chilly, you can zip it right up to the top, which is really nice. But I kind of prefer wearing it open like this. So maybe have a look if you have any stripy jumpers in your wardrobe, because that will definitely go along with that trend. And then the other jumper that I wanted to show you is this one, which is from the brand Sporty and Rich, which I just think is the most hysterical brand that they have that all over their jumpers. And I bought this over Christmas in the Harrods sale, and I've been wanting to buy from this brand for a really long time because I just love their branding. I love everything about it. I think it's really tongue in cheek. And I got this one. It has SRYC Sporty and Rich Yachting Club and then on the back it's got this emblem and I just think it's such a nice jumper it's more of a kind of sweatshirt and it's something that I kind of wear on Sundays if perhaps we're going to a farmer's market or taking the dog for a walk and I don't really want to get too dressed up because it's the weekend but I also want to be comfy but I also want to look nice I like these kind of ath leisure pieces and I think they very much go in with the polo trend style. And I just think it's quite funny, particularly if someone catches the kind of sporty and rich branding, it might give them a laugh and I just think it's really nice. So maybe try incorporating some ath leisure in your wardrobe as well if you want to go for the kind of polo shirt preppy 
look that is a way to kind of turn it preppy if that's what you want to go for. And that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you have found this useful. I really enjoyed filming this. I love trying new things for new seasons. I love trying to incorporate fashion trends into my wardrobe while still using pieces that I already own or items that are very timeless. I think this year's list of trends are really nice pieces and I think you can have a lot of fun with them. So I hope that this has given you maybe some inspiration and that you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It honestly helps more than you know. And I will see you in the next one for the next installment of the Spring Diaries series, which I hope that you're enjoying. And if there are any other videos that you'd like to see, please do drop them in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.